Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a user. Simply click on the uh, remote desktop, make sure you're logged in obviously. Click Start, Computer, now right click Manage. Now you'll see there's quite a few options here. I wouldn't worry about it, we just want to go straight to Configuration. You want local users and groups, so we're going to create a user. I've already created a test user there, but I'm going to create another one for the purpose of this video. So we're going to go new user. We're going to call him Outsource2. We're going to call her Freddy. And we're just going to give it a test account. And we're going to give it a password. You can also make the user change their password, so you don't need to know. But I'm going to show you some uh, configuration. So let's create the user. User's created. There it is. So left click and then right click properties. Okay, so you can disable account here. You can f make the user change password. Member of has to be in the user group profile you don't need to worry about, environment you don't need to worry about, session end and disconnect session after one day. So it can't stay in longer than a day permanently logged on. Uh, it's not good for your employees to do that anyway but majority won't. Uh, active session limit we uh, make it. Uh, we'll make it a day. And idle timeout is three hours. Now, the reason why you want it three hours is if you're running processes. Uh, if there's processes running and the users are disconnected, the processes will still keep running. It's only when the user is logged out. Then, uh, when the user is logged out, all the processes that that user is running will stop. So we'll hit. Make sure that. Uh, when session limit is reached or connection is broken, disconnect from session, not end session. Because if you click end session, that will drop all the processes. So just make sure it's just disconnect. Allow connection from any client, because if you say originating client only, um, your MacBook, your iPad, your iPhone, and or your Google Android phone, if you use any of these platforms, uh, they won't be able to connect. So you simply hit apply and OK. And that's how you add a user to your server.